What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. We are now on to reaction number four of the Game Awards last night. Hopefully you're enjoying these reactions on some of the games that are coming up that definitely I want to jump into and get my hands on. Uh, obviously I recorded the whole uh, game show last night and I'm just cutting it up. I'm going to pass you over to Past Bits who reacted to the video for you uh, at early hours between half 12 and 3 a.m. last night. So if you enjoy this video, remember to like, subscribe, and also leave a comment. And let's see what Hideo Kojima has got for us this time. Okay, welcome back to the Game Awards. And well, are thank you. you ready? It is time to get a world premiere from one of our industry's greatest oh. creators. Stream. He's Stream been a mark. huge supporter of the Game Awards since the very beginning back in 2014. And tonight, we, I am we know so, who this is already. so honored to share this latest update with you on his upcoming project. Hideo Kojima, yeah. it has to be. This right here, this segment is just for Jeff. Jeff, obviously the host. Oh. The hungry purple dinosaur eats the kind zingy fox, the jabbering crab, and the mad whale, and he started bending and quacking. Ooh. The hungry purple dinosaur, purple dinosaur ate the, the, the kind zingy fox, the jabbering crab, and the mad whale, and started vending and cracking. The hungry purple dinosaurs. They're definitely and using the meta human, right? Fox, the jabbering crab, and the mad whale and started rending and quacking. What? Can you always use, like, Mr. Kojima always does, like, weird games. What? You see a doorway opening their eyes. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> I was too busy looking into her eyes. Hideo Kojima game, or D. Is he doing a horror game? For all players and streamers, and with Xbox Game Studios. Kojima normally goes for PlayStation, off the bat. Well, where is he? Where is he? <laughs> He's such a character. Please welcome the visionary game developer behind OD, Mr. Hideo Kojima! Hello. <laughs> you love his translator somewhere. There he is. I definitely want to... He, he always teases, like, little welcome things. Welcome, Mr. Kojima, back to and the And obviously, this one is kind of showing off the meta-human uh, technology. Thank you, Jeff. えっと、Technically I got to speak over these bits right now because Sofia Unfortunately I don't I'm really glad to be at the 10th G uh, uh, Game Awards. Really happy to show the new title OD and this title will feature uh, main role, Sophia Lillis, uh, Hunter Schaefer, and Udo Kier. Yeah. Uh, I think we all want to know more, of course. What kind of game are you making, Mr. Kojima? Yeah, like I was saying at the beginning, this whole section of the Game Awards every single year is just for Jeff. This is it. Like, Jeff is a big fan of Hiro Kojima, and this section is just for him. <laughs> every year. え、尻肉で尖った uh, but this one, um, with uh, help of Xbox, Xbox Game Studios and using their uh, cloud gaming technology, um, I'm kind of doing this uh, together. But 
it's it's really to make immersive Cloud and also game. something that never no one has seen before is what I'm trying to do. And it is a game, don't get me wrong, but it's at the same time a movie, but at the same time a new form of media. Well, we can't wait to learn more about what you're working on. Interesting. Oh, wait, wait. Is, is there somebody else at the door? Huh? Hello? Everyone, please welcome Jordan Peele to the Kojima verse. <laughs> Bloody hell. A lot of you might know him for the, the sweating meme. What's up? How's it going? Oh my God, Jordan, welcome That's to the Game Awards. Here. What a fun surprise. I know you're a big fan of Hideo's games, right? I'm a huge fan of Hideo. This man is an icon. And uh, I, I can just, I can say from the first moment I played Metal Gear Solid 2, I knew I was experiencing the work of an artist whose craft just hits different. And he's been an inspiration to me, and the opportunity to collaborate with him is truly incredible. In my films, I'm always trying to maximize the immersion, put the audience into the main character's shoes. Hideo is the master of this. And he does it on a whole nubba so, level. The game he's making is a cinematic movie, apparently. And what he's cooking up here apparently. is completely immersive, utterly terrifying, and I am absolutely honored to be collaborating with the GOAT. Let's go! But I'm curious because he did say he had to express that it is a game. Two GOATs working together. Uh, but Adele, different. I want to ask you, how are you collaborating with Jordan? Tell us about it. で、僕は映画を見て育ってゲームを作ってます。で、ジョーダンはゲームを、え、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
a person sat at their PC trying to find their daughter or something. Somebody missing. Is it going to be something on the lines of that? Um, which is what I'm curious about. And I'm always curious when it comes to Hideo's games. Because, like, the weird, and even the videos within the game, are you, like the cinematic clips or the video clips, are always between 10 to 30 minutes long. Before you even get into any gameplay. And then you play for about 10 minutes. And then there's another 15 to 20 minute clip. Um, so it's like, he's always making movie experiences that is unique. And he's always trying to like broaden and make new styles of games. Which is not happening a lot recently. Because a lot of people were like remaking and doing all this kind of stuff. But I'm super looking forward to seeing what this is. And I'm guessing we'll find out more in 2024. Maybe with some gameplay. Uh, or more info about it and then with a 2025 release i'm going to guess but we'll see you next year that was ordeal